Hi, in this video of CSS, we'll discuss about giving the styles to the font. Like if you want to give the font a different color or some style rules like the font family you want to change. If you want to give some styles like make it bolder, make it italic or something, you can go for the fonts in the style. So let's see what all different options are available while working with the fonts in CSS. So here now with the reference of font style in CSS, I have taken a number of paragraph tags and in each P tag, you can see there are different options available for the fonts. Like in the first one where I have used font family attribute of CSS, I have passed three different kind of fonts that is SMS, Monotype Corsiva and Courier. So, it will give the priority to the first font but if the first font is not installed in your system then the second font will be applied and again if second font is not available in your system then we'll go for the third font and if none of the form is available in your system then the default font will be shown to the user. But in this particular case, in my case, I do have this MS, at least everyone has this particular font. So the first font will be applied to this text called changed font family. And here you can see in the output, you can see this particular font is nothing but MS. Similarly, if through CSS, you want to pass some styles, like you want to make any particular text as italic, you can use this CSS class font style, rather not CSS class, but see, uh, the attribute. So font style is the attribute here and the value is italic. Let's say if you want to make the text italic at the runtime in any particular event, you can't add the italic tag at that particular time. So that's why we should learn how to make a particular text italic using the CSS attribute. So font style italics and here this is italics is the text. So you can see this is italics. All right. So this is the font style italic which I have applied for this particular text. Similarly, we do have a variant here for the font where I'll use the attribute font variant and the value is small caps. You can make it none, which is by default. So what it will do all the capital letters which are available here like this is small caps example so t s c e the particular the respective capital words will be shown in the capital but all the alphabets who are available here in small cases in small letters will be shown in the smaller caps like this all right so you can see the size of these fonts is smaller than the caps size form all right so this is how you can use the small caps similarly if you want to make it bold any particular text you can use the attribute font weight at that particular time which will make it bold bolder and maybe you want you can put some numeric values as well depending if your particular browser supports that font uh, options all right so like here you can see font weight is bold if you want to make some nested text even more bolder, you can put it bolder as well. Now, next thing which comes here is font size. Font size is here, like you can see 30 pixels. We do have the different measurement units as we have learned. So here I am passing the unit as pixel. So the font size of this particular text will be nothing but 30 pixel as you can see here. All right. Similarly, you can increase or decrease size as per your requirement. All right. Now it's 40. So let's make it 40. All right. Similarly, if you want to use small and large, like in HTML, we do have the small tab, small tag and the big tag. But here, if you want, you can use the font size attribute in that particular situation and you can use the value small and large. So comparatively to the default text is this font this text will be in the smaller font and similarly comparison comparatively to the current text this particular text will be larger as you can see here this is smaller in size while this one is larger in size 
this is your default font size all right so comparatively you can check like this one is small and this one is large and here I have used the shorthand notation for passing the different font styles and a single line all right like font colon italic small caps bold 50 pixel Georgia all right so this is the font family which I am working with this is the size this is the font weight this is font variant this is font style all right so all the different attributes which we have used so far have been applied in a single line and this one is the shorter way to style the text so while working with CSS you can use these various options in order to style your texts